How's it going everyone? And welcome back to some more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc! Hell yes, we're back! We're back at it! Um, I'm gonna put my current mood and like status and all that in, in context right now. So, this is Friday the 17th? Yeah, Friday the 17th of May. I just finished recording a Kingdom Hearts episode. I know, it's nuts, I've never recorded two episodes of different things in, a, in like one, in one session, but I had the time, it was a short episode, so I guess, why not? Uh, <laughs> God, I am nervous for this episode, I don't know what to expect. Um, uh, last time we were, we were left with the task of investigating the first floor to see if anything had happened. I'm kind of scared, because I think I know who's gonna bite the bullet. It's gonna be it's gonna be either Ifumi or or Taka. One of the two. One of the two is dead. A hundred percent. One of the two is dead. And uh, Ifumi, I'm not. I'm like, eh. You know, it's whatever. But Taka, I really like Taka. Uh, I I like the sense of responsibility that he has. Like he felt responsible for Chihiro's death, even though it was Mondo. He felt responsible for not changing Mondo fast enough or something like that. I don't know. But he felt responsible. You could see the weight of responsibility on his shoulders. And I like characters like that. I, I don't know why. They're just like, they seem like good friends to have. Anyways. Enough dawdling. Enough guessing. Enough like trying to predict the future. I'm not, I'm no hero, but hero like H-I, you get, you get the, the character, you know. The, you get the point. Let's go. Yeah, we were tasked with investigating the first floor, so... Uh, let's start investigating, see if anything's happened. I love this song so much. Oh yeah, this is where we woke up, wasn't it? This is the desk I woke up on, on when I first got here. The little pen foot is still laying there. I have absolutely no desire to look at it ever again. Yeah, bad memories, Makoto. That day was just rough, buddy. Just rough. Alright. Blackboard belongs to us now, secret beauty. God. The blackboards are just. Someone, come here! What? That was Hina! She's supposed to be checking the third floor. Surprise of the century! There was no time to think. I was running through the stairs before I knew what was happening. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please! Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It, it's awful. The rec room door was open, and when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I better get the others, right? I, I'm gonna go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was brushing downstairs. The rec room? What, you, what did she see in there? What do you think? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I led her to the rec room. The first thing I saw when I got to in the rec room was... Yeah. Okay... This is definitely not what I was expecting. What the fuck happened to you? It was Celeste. And she was hurt. What happened? Uh, Makoto... Celeste, what happened? It was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? By who? I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person a suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can help but call him strange. So without a doubt, it was some sort of strange of a, a strange indiv suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. What is happening? You got, you got attacked? What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something? Pretty strange design. That's There's some writing on the head. The ju Justice Hammer 1? Oh, there's only one person who would use a hammer like this. That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Just as hammer room. Uh, Makoto, Celeste, who is it? Oh. Okay. I found Sakura. 
what? Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Mm -hmm. A strange man. Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. <sighs> well, it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. My time was not yet over, but I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that it was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. Wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me, and... And that's when you were, you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m., just after night time had ended. So, if it happened just after 7 o'clock, then that was just about an hour ago, right we were all, we, when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. But... Well, I'm glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did. As for me... I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it's- Oh god. I see. So you were willing to throw away all your pride. Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. What do you mean? Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? Yeah, that's exactly what I asked. Okay. What? What? Huh? Huh? What? What? <laughs> what happened? Is, is Celeste multiplying? I just looked. Huh? Celeste, is, uh, what the hell just happened? Did Makoto just? <sighs> Don't question it. Move along. When I looked into the room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him Ifumi. Ifumi? After he attacked me, he dragged Ifumi away. What? You mean Ifumi was kidnapped? Yeah, he's fucking dead. Um. Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would be probably probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us. Indeed. This is Ifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean- Actually- I was able to photograph this suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it! Okay. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would not be doing any good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. <laughs> what? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Oh god, I didn't even see it. Do I here? Oh, oh. I don't! Damn it! Oh, I do. Okay. Sorry about that, my nose is really picking up. Huh? What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Is that... robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged and flew me away? Okay. And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full power ago. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but... <laughs> hmm. The point is, someone dressed like that dragged and flew me away. That happened over an hour ago. Just a second! This is bad! We have to hurry! Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see... When they left the red room, they, were, they had left. I see. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Hmm... The second floor? That's where Kyoko was supposed to be! Huh? Speaking of which... Wasn't... Why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! 
As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we, w we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Is it Kyoko? Hey, you too. What? Oh no, it's Byakuya. What's going on? What's all the fuss? <laughs> yeah, you guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Ifumi? You've gotta be kidding! Nope, nope, sure haven't. <laughs> we're on this floor. We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. <laughs> we came here together! Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. <laughs> oh! Oh, I get it now. Anyway, can you guys help us look for them? What? Oh, what happened? <sighs> There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Oh, fine. It sounds like, it sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay! Ifumi! Kyoko! If you can hear me, say something! The voice echoed like down the hall in vain. Did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs could carry us. When we opened the door to the library. <laughs> oh, you do not look good. It hurts. It hurts. We found the Fumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Um... I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> it's super bad, though. Look at all the blood. What? Who did you get hurt? <laughs> that guy hit me. What guy? <laughs> Hello, Justice. That's why I decided to call him just now. What? What did you say? What are you talking about? Dude, you look... Wait, is that... It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room, but this one is... Just this hammer too? And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. Mm -hmm. He attacked me with that hammer. He bumped me right on the head with it. No. The hammer's that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not okay! Look at all this blood! Hey! Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? Mm -hmm. I've never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? God. Mm -hmm. That guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you are referring to is this, is it not? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> Good question. Oh my god, I made the exact same question as Byaki did. This is the one that attacked Celeste and Ifumi. Isn't that right, Ifumi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this that's him. Unforgivable. Yeah, that's him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice! It can't be! Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. <laughs> oh, I knew you were too quiet. You didn't appear at all last episode. It just in a flashback. Oh. It's him! <laughs> a robot of justice, huh? Now things are really get starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it come by? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Why is he here? Are you okay with this? I just not concern myself with him. What we need to do now is get him to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah! You're right, let's go! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We moved it for me to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. Hmm. How are you feeling, Ifumi? You want me to take a look at it? Oh, yeah? Um. I'm okay. I think it stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So then. Perhaps you should rest a little more. I suppose. Yeah, good idea. Well then. The rest of us should get goes back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. Indeed, before another victim appears. The Justice Hammer seems to be increasing in size, first one and now two. So, in other words... If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. Oh! If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure! Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, if we... Um... Well, I looked, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Aren't we all forgetting Kyoko? Where is she? 
must be what I woke was doing in the and seven this morning. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Down came the hammer. That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. <laughs> I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Yes! His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night! What? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was speaking! Anyway, so that means Byaki and Toko were together at the time. Meaning they also have alibis. Then the only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Ifumi were attacked are... The only two that have that we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but... I didn't see her up, th up there at all. Ugh. Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I suspected. Hold on! Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Fumi were attacked, so... Hmm. I'm not talking about who attacked me. Huh? In other words... I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? Uh, I don't want to believe that. That's not possible! What? Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, doesn't even reveal her true identity. Hey! Save this discussion for later. Right now we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay! Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only gonna be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right! We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um... Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go. Hmm. So whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for a reason for my deviance. What to do? What to do? So, what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Huh. Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what, we're, what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? <laughs> I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Huh? Really? Uh, Up on the second floor, then. Death. You bastard! You won't get away from me! We all shot th toward the stairs. <laughs> he must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. Well. But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Oh. Okay, but what should we get? Just a second! Anything! It doesn't matter! So then... Then is... Ah! <laughs> that reminds me of the Super Mario World meme of Mario just saying his... Ah! With his mouth wide open. What are you saying? <laughs> Ow! Do I... Uh... <laughs> or whatever you want! Just yell loud enough so we can hear you! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I have never heard such a reaction. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go! <laughs> what the hell? Hey, Mr. Robot! Where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya! We sprout out in every direction to track down the custom suspect. Alright, so where should I look? Let's look everywhere, I guess. It wouldn't be here, right? Yeah, if it says to act, if it's if it says to that was Celeste, wasn't it? That strange cry. That had to be Celeste. Thank you. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. I sprinted up to the third floor. Everyone over here. Everyone. Everyone who heard the scream yet came running. Just a second. Celeste, what's wrong? What? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. Okay. I saw him, the strange costume men. We're basically like doing laps. We're going from third to first to second to third again. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so we headed further down into the hallway of the security. He must be down this hall. Come on, let's go. Huh? What is it now? Oh god damn it. Now that we actually needed her. Huh? Whoa, it's really true! But that doesn't matter right now! No! That's Ifumi. 
Huh? Huh? Oh, what was that? Oh, it came from downstairs. It must have been Ifumi. He's in the nurse's office. This is back. Come on, we have to go back. What? What about the suspect? We've gone through all this trouble to catch him, right? Hmm. Then why don't we split up into two groups? It's all clear now. Only the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. So then? Very well. Then Makoto and Hira, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to token, Sakura, and Yakuya. So then. We'll handle it. Just go take care of it for me. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran downstairs to the first floor. Just a second! He's in the nurse's office. Let's go! Okay, if we're controlling Makoto, that means one thing. Alright, let's do it. Ugh, Godspeed, man. We stormed into the nurse's office, and what we and what greeted us was a world of dripping crimson. Yep. Everything was covered in red. Well, I guess pink. But I I fucking called it! I called it! And in the center of all this red was Ifumi? It, it looks like something very bad has happened. God, he's... Yeah, that's death. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that the fool would be murdered. No way! Murdered? You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? I guess that answers your question. A body has been Goodness. discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! That... that answers your question. What the...? <laughs> that was... the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement. When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what it plays. And since we just heard it, that means... Mm. It must mean... Before we... Someone killed him. One of us. One of us? Uh, and look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. But it's three, right? Just as Hammer 3? Another Hammer. Just as Hammer 3. And it's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspected. One strike from that and you are finished. Then the killer... There can be no doubt. The suspicious individual. Going by what you think called him. The culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume is the one that killed Ifumi. But wait. You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall? So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they like teleported or something, right? Are you okay with this? We can figure that part out later. Right now we have to tell the others. Y you're right. So then... Then shall we go? Oh yeah... Uh, oh, you don't look so good. <sighs> Hina, snap out of it. Huh? huh? Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. Sorry. I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kinda... Hmm. This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. Very well, I'll leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. Everyone else is already on the third floor, I have to hurry. This is where everyone was chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He ran off, going further down the hallway. Way into the back of the hallway? So, like this, right? I'm guessing. Let's see the map for where I need to go. Okay, I guess this is it. Or maybe not? I don't know. 
this is the physics lab, right? Oh god, I, uh, don't, 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 please. Oh, this is the zone for, for the fourth floor, so I'm guessing this is not it. Run, Lakota, run! So I'm guessing here, right? Either one of the passwords? Okay, nope. The spare spot tree. It's not the classrooms, then, then it has to be the other way. Maybe the art room? It's never been used almost. I'm getting tired of this. Aren't we all, Monokuma? I think these students have had enough of your shit. So where's everyone else? So let's see the art room. Nothing here, I guess. Maybe here? Nope. Still nothing. Oh! Oh, hello there! Well, I see where I need to investigate later on. I see where I need to investigate later on. There were two hammers missing. Well, there's only one place I haven't checked yet, and that's the physics lab. Oh, the door's open. As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. It's still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. It's a presence. Is it coming from over there in the back? Wait a minute, we're not about to... No. I leapt through the doorway, and when I did, I found another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. Okay. Did I really just call this? Well, um... Well, fuck me! Taka's dead! There, in a pool of his own blood, was Taka. Dead. Two killings, huh? Deadly life. Dang and run back. Yufumi's body discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body discovered in the equipment room. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after another. No, they weren't nightmares. This is harsh reality. God, the true nightmare is this reality. The reality I have to face every day. But still. Why is this happening? Oh, Toko fainted, yeah. Toko? Don't tell me Toko too? Hmm. Well, that's, she just passed out when she saw the blood. The blood? Oh, that's right, when Toko is, um, Toko? She has a fear of blood, huh? We've tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for me. Like he said, I should just leave her alone for me. Oh, that's just as time before. Another hammer. Now it's just his hammer for it, and it's even bigger than before. Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? However... But why is it just his hammer for? Well, oh, what do you mean? Celeste was attacked with just his hammer 1. Then Ifumi was hit with just his hammer 2. But this time it was just his hammer 4. What happened to number 3? Uh... What? What's the matter? Well... When you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded me. What? Oh, well, do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. Ifumi's dead, too. What? Hey! Ifumi's been killed? Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we'd better go check it out. Yeah. Of course, come on! So, Sakura, Byaki, and I rushed out of the physics lab. <coughs> Sorry about that. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab... Oh! Celeste! Aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? Okay! Something has to come up. Hmm. Yeah, who? Fumi is dead, right? Indeed. Well, that is not all. It is gone. Huh? What's gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared? Okay! Ifumi's body has disappeared! Wait a minute, weren't you... Huh? 
How what? What happened? What? What, what did you say? What are you talking about? It's disappeared. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Hey! Everyone, back to the nurse's office. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. Ifumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared? Aoi! Snap out of it! Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. But we were only gone for like a minute! And then when we got back... Indeed. This must be work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. I must be really enjoying this. I enjoyed the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. Okay. We're all going to die here. We're all going to die just like those guys died. What? What did you say? I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Why? First there were two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken. This is unnatural. Huh? Hold on! What do you mean, two murders? Ina. Taka's been killed. We found him in the equipment. No way! It can't be! Taka too? You know, the strange thing is that we've never found Kyoko through all of this. Where is she? It can't be! It can't be! Oh, I feel sorry for her. Hina. Hina, calm down. They're all gonna die. All of us. They're gonna kill all of us. And not just... And not, now that I think about it, it's not just Kyoko. It's Hiro, too. Where is he? <laughs> then who might the next target be? Toko? Huh? What? I completely forget. Uh -oh, it's probably forgot. I completely forgot. She's still unconscious in the equipment room. You left her at the scene of the crime. I didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. I mean, carry her with you? Huh? So she is still unconscious. Damn. Wait, so she. You knew she was still up there and said nothing. Why? <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be better off without her. Bastard! You bastard! <laughs> Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone stop fighting! Right now we need to hurry up- we need to hurry back! Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Damn. Byakuya, if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> you know she could snap your neck, right? You shot out of the nurse's office and bolted up the stairs, heading back to the third floor. We we're really just running laps at this point. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. And when we got there... Toko! But... Thank god you're okay. But right away I noticed... There was something very different here. It was gone. Taka's body, which should have been right there, had disappeared. Another one! Another one! Th this is... This can't be happening. Uh... Are we hallucinating all this or something? No, it's not an a hallucination. Wait a minute, did the body discovery announcement play at the same time? Monokuma, you fuck! You didn't let us know there were two murders. I know I saw it before, but what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. Huh? What? Are you seeing Taka disappear too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappear. It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously whoever did this has hidden the body. But why would I do that? <laughs> Impossible to begin to imagine. Okay. Anyway, our custom suspect is clearly continuing his killing his prank spree. Huh? We gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us! Not possible. Well, I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Huh? Hm. Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding those these dead bodies? Well... Um... Hm. When you see his death came up, right everyone here was together on the third floor. It is so. After that, we split up into two groups. Hmm. You know, this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second! Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Ifumi were attacked! There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us! Hmm. Hmm. You seem very adamant about defending her. 
Perhaps you are in love. Oh, snap! That's not it at all! That's fine. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspicious individual we're looking for can be no, no other than Kira. Hm. Which further means there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right! That, that's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as the rule is in place, there will not be a third murder. If they were to bring them. Shit! I've learned at Mincia! Mincia without a second thought! Mincia and grind your turn into paste! By the way, did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish? Like shrimp or crabs? Hmm. Indeed. Let's see. <laughs> I just love this reaction. Oh my god. <coughs> oh, I, I need a breather. I'm not used to this. But I need to be more professional, so let's continue on. So since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. Hmm. Just a minute when I said we'd be better off without him, though. In other words... Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies. Two people have been killed and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it, is Hiro. But is he really the killer? What about Kyoko? She's not involved in this case, where did she go? What? Kyoko, what's the matter? Uh, oh no, it's nothing. Hm. Whatever, we need to find those bodies, or our little narrative here can move forward. So then... Very well, let us split up and begin searching. But... But... <laughs> there is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. Cause, I mean... I, I know that. I mean, I think I do, but... You know... If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Uh, okay, thank you. Hmm. No need to thank me. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell out if you need anything, if you find anything. Yaku left the equipment room, followed by the uh, by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. We're still not in investigation time! What is wrong with this game? Oh, at least, at least the pace has died down a bit. Finally, thank god. Alright, let's look for these bastards. Ah, oh, yeah, I can take a breather. Ugh. I might shut up for a while. Oh, hello to you two. Huh? Where could the two dead bodies have disappeared to? Damn. We need to search for the bodies that have disappeared. What happens after that? Alright then, let's search. Oh? Huh? The door must be locked. Interesting, why is it? Uh, yeah, one of them is there. Absolutely, definitely. And why is it playing Beautiful Morning? Well, I know the name of the song, yes. Shut up. Is it in the rec room? Celeste should be here, right? Nope, nobody's here. I still don't get it. What could it be? Hero seems like the obvious candidate at this point, but I'm still a little skeptical about this. The classrooms have been pretty useless so far. Ah, I need a good discretion. Mik Mikoto! Come on! We're you, you just standing here. We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean. Indeed. I found it. If only and Taka's bodies have been both hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I've already told, I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. The bodies were in the repository? Where is that again? Uh. Oh, she's in the equipment room still. Okay, uh, where is the repository again? I'm just trying to find it. I really don't know, actually. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, I knew it. I totally knew it. <laughs> I didn't know that was called the repository, but I totally called it. They would be, they would be there. Like, this case has been so predictable so far, and I'm not sure I like it. Are the bodies here somewhere? Up ahead is the repository. The door not turned. I guess it's unlocked. What the fuck? How? We have no choice but to go inside. So I opened the door. When I entered, I saw... Yeah, both of them. 
The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. But I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality, unwavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. Only now? Isn't isn't that kind of weird though? Why why would we only hear this announcement now? I mean, before we three people found the body, which were Toko, Sakura, and Byakia, found Daka's body. Celeste, Hina, and Makoto, which is who I'm, who I'm playing as, found Ifumi. Why didn't two play? That's weird. A body had after it. Yeah, I know. Hmm. And so here we are. It's the Monokuma file. Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma file. <laughs> I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies the first time. I thought something might happen. It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right! Stop talking. Just hit already. Punishment is waiting for you! Now make sure to investigate with all of your mental mind and prepare for the class trial! See ya later! Okay, how long do I have? Oof. Can I finish this in 50 minutes? Let's find out. Well then, now that we've found the bodies, let all that's left is to uncover the culprit. What the heck? Hold on! How can you be so so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know. That's terrible. Dead, gone forever. They're never coming back. Awful. <laughs> it's so just too awful. Oh, I feel bad for her. Hina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Eddie from his lifeless body. Who, who would do this? Why? Why? Large wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Ifumi's cheeks. If this were some world of make-believe, that might have been when Ifumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. Oh, I feel sorry for her. This wasn't... <sighs> oh, wait, what? He's alive again? Where am I? What the fuck? Okay. 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 Can someone explain to me what the fuck just happened? This guy was dead. Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Hifumi, wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! Oh my god. I remember everything before I met you all. I met you all. <laughs> His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. <sighs> The light. Thank God. It's reaching out to me like the tail of a comet. Hey, Ifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Y Yasu. Bro. Bullshit. His eyes closed. And they never opened again. What the fuck? God, I, I didn't think... Oh, oh, fuck. Death for the second time. Absolute undeniable death. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. Hmm. This isn't some stereotypical fantasy, man. Tears can restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins, no calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. Huh. 
You said Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps... Yasuhiro Hagakure. That is the only person you could have been referring to. So, in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Ufumi. And then going so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what a hero is? What is this? If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him! To kill two of our friends! That's fine. Anyway, it's about time we tracked down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although, I assume it's not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. We have no choice but to go through with this to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it! First, I better check the Monokuma file. Wow, I didn't I didn't expect this chapter to give me an emotional moment, dude. That was well done. That was well done. The victims, the victims were Ifumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it? Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got we got way less information this time than before. <sighs> that is no problem. After all, the nuts of this case we followed before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened in the Monokuma file anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well, there's something else that's bothering me. Hmm. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Kyoko? Perhaps. Without a doubt, she has an alibi for what Celeste and Fumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? An accomplice? <sighs> what are you doing here? Monokuma! Don't be rude! I'm here to answer your question! What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer! Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate! So, in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So then... So are you saying that nobody worked together this time either? Hey, um... Sorry, can't answer that. It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget. No matter how much you might assist in a murder, yeah. only one black and can graduate. An accomplice gets nothing! So, in other words... Then we only need to figure out who, who the one black and is that did the killing, right? Just like a woman? Well... Okay, okay, let me take this opportunity to, classify, to clarify the whole she -bang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is... It's green! The one true black and... I'm going crazy. I, I, I swear I just saw my phone turn itself on. <laughs> Anyways, the one true blackened who devised the murder plot and put it into action. The true blackened. So just one person? Well now. That's enough for explainifying. Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the blackened. Good luck to all the contestants. So there can only be one blackened. An accomplice wouldn't benefit. And I can't see any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Um... If that's true, then Kyoko, where are you? However... As long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can go to pursue further information. So, um... You know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect in this case? I'm talking about the murderous swing genocide jack. What? <laughs> What? I'm offended! Oh. You, when did you... <laughs> I've been looking all over for you, Master! When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found! U-S-O-B! Oh, God. Anyway, you there, milk sack <laughs> Huh? Wow, okay then. You gotta be kidding! What do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. 
So what? I'm like a special guest suspect every time? I have an alibi, you know? Hmm. She was right about that. When we heard it fully scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the, in the equipment room. Well, I stuck his body aside. I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move his fully body. Yep. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill it at someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> then, then, don't call me the Maris Fiend for nothing. What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another topic, it should be close to God by the bodies like before. We can have them disappear again. So then. Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm. Sure, I'd be totally useless lying in the investigation anyway. It's all clear now. And that's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Oh, finally I get to investigate, and I have exactly... Oh, 40 minutes. I guess I can do it. There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall, although some are more like mallets. Mallets? Do the Justice hammers have been designed during using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers that hit here have obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's... wet. Did someone wash it recently? Oh, sorry about that. Alright, anything else here? Yeah. Taka. He'll never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what we used to kill him? And there's a tar blade out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? No way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moving. Interesting. Okay. What about you? Fumi's big cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body. Okay, that's mean. I mean, how on earth was the was the killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office where we where it was discovered to here the repository, all the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. How the hell? It's no good. I just don't get it. I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Yufumi himself. If I remember correctly, Yufumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head, probably from Justice Hammer Three, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something is off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something is different. Something about Ifumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That said, his glasses! When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. But now they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? But who would do that and why? Ifumi's glasses. <coughs> okay. Hmm. There are many aspects to the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that, uh, considering that, it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. So then, would you like my help? Yeah. Yeah. Let's look back on things. Mm. This morning, only four of us met up at the dining hall. Nina, Kyoko, you, and myself. We waited for the others, but nobody showed up. So we decided to go look for them. Mm. It was around eight o'clock when we began our search. And so after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. Mm. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor, then quickly came and you got and got you and me. A according to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her. Meaning just after 7 o'clock. Mm. Based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her, her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It was Robo Justice. It also became clear that this Robo Justice had dragged Ifumi away. Huh. After meeting up with Toko and Byakuya, we began searching for the costume the silent. We found an injured Ifumi in the library on the second floor. We took him down to the nurse's office on the first floor, then resumed our search. But, but not, not long after leaving the nurse's office. What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving on the top of the stairs. Based on, based on Celeste's claims, we went back to the second floor, where we split up and began searching. Then right after that, hmm. Celeste screamed. This time, this time she had apparently seen the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we quickly made our way to the third floor. 
Celeste, what's wrong? There was another intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, this strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further into the hallway and disappeared. Mm. And then... Yeah. Huh? What was that? They came from downstairs. It must have been... Ifumi! He's in the nurse's office! This is back, come on, we have to go back! At that point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office. Meanwhile, you, Byaki, and Toko pursued the suspect up on the third floor. And when we got back to the nurse's office, we found Ifumi's corpse. Which is also when we heard the body discovery announcement play. I left Celeste and Hina alone and headed back to the third floor to tell the others what had happened. However... But at the same time, we had discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Which means Ifumi and Taka's body were discovered right around the same time. Because I remember hearing the body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. <coughs> and that's when I showed up and told you about Byaki that Ifumi had been killed, right? Then you, me, and Byaki all, all headed to the nurse's office, leaving behind Toko who had fainted. But as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who had just arrived to tell us something very unusual. Ifumi's body has disappeared. We hurried back to the nurse's office to discover that his corpse was in fact gone. Hmm. Then we remembered we had, we had abandoned the unconscious token and rushed back to the equipment room. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? This time Taka's body had disappeared. So from there we began our search for both of, of the missing bodies. And after some time... Hmm. Celeste told us she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository. And there we rediscovered the two bodies that had apparently vanished. And that brings us up to now. However, looking back, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, just let me know. I'm fine anytime. Okay, so she basically does the summary. So, um. Hey, um, Makoto? Have you thinking about something? It's not the repository. Hmm? What is it? Hmm. After Ifumi and Taka's bodies disappeared, we split up and went to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. But... And we came right to the repository to, you know, look around. But when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked? Hmm. And we came here as soon as the search started, so there's no way someone could beat us here. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked unlock now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there. But I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. Oh god. But I can't yet. Hey, Byaki. Have something for me? Byaki, do you think Hiro really did it? Hmm. I don't think how... how in, I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attack on murders all, and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Ifumi said when he died... Yeah, he said heroes. So, in other words, there is no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see. <laughs> okay, that's true, I guess. I mean, he is kind of dumb. But you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hidden, hiding in there somewhere. What? Ms. Leonard, that's all that bothers you about this the case. Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. They, prob they probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty quick, pretty easily, didn't we? Hmm. Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. <laughs> is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is, why did they bother killing two people? What? That's a good question, because all the rules says if you kill, if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Hold on, perhaps. I see, so that's what that means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Huh? What's with the attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this, after all. 
The mysterious words hung in the, hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he'd figured something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? Okay, what? What is there left? Uh, oh, that's right, I can... What was it like? Oh, triangle, right. Uh, oh, that. It's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the heart room before. I guess it's used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Oh! Hum, but wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room where we found Taka's body? And look at the wheel. There's a blood stain on it. So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? Come on, it's just, it's just like putting two plus two together, Makoto. What else? Uh, nothing else, really. Then what is there left? Oh, a painting. No, oh, that's the monitor. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. I don't have time to be staring at it. Oh, I got a monocline. I'll take those. Isn't there really anything else? Oh, there... There's a security camera! But what do I care about that? Oh god... Okay, let me see the map. I can't leave yet. There's only one way in and out of this room. Through that door... Through the door said that Hina said was locked before. That's definitely... There's definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I don't see any way to lock it from in the art room. Hmm. The door can be only, only be locked from inside the repository, which makes me wonder. Hina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And the door is designed so that it can only be locked from inside the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims that there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. So that certain someone... Okay. Hmm, there's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office where Ifumi was found, then the equipment room where Taka was found. Alright, let's go. Gotta go fast. Come on, I need to go to the uh, first floor. First floor... Okay, here we go. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, hello, Celeste. What are you investigating, Celeste? I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply going around, seeing if Hero might be hanging somewhere. Hmm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved it from his body. Let's see. How is he this moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in a nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone. Hmm. We could not have gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move his from his body in that short amount of time? Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as he threw me in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of anything else, anything less than impossible. Alright. Celeste so account. Justice Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Lee for me. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. Okay, what else? Oh, a, a trash can, sorry about that. It's the burps. It's just a normal trash can. Huh? Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. Uh, handkerchief. Uh, it's a glass cleaning cloth. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Ugh, but it's also covered in blood. Oh. Oh, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth. And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it up to wipe some blood. But who would need to do some who would need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either. But I think it might be important. Dude, put two plus two together. This is what I don't like sometimes about investigations. The answer is literally right in front of you at all times. A refrigerator. I don't know if there's anything to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek? There's a bunch of blood packets in there for blood transfusions, I guess. That doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. 
That has got to be a genius thing. Alright, so the nurse's office is done. The next thing to investigate would be the equipment room, right? The equipment room. Good thing I'm, I'm right next to the physics lab. This is so convenient! Still, I wonder where Yoko is. She just flat out disappeared. Oh, hey. Hello. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. Okay, then. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that, that should definitely have been possible. Nice. Why is it saying that I can leave the room then if I need to do investigating here? But if, if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about if Fumi? If Fumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor, even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. Okay. Oh, that's a... Oh, this tarp. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and it just recently too. Okay, thanks for the monocoin though, I highly appreciate it. It's not like I'm gonna get a butt ton of those when I do the uh, when I do the class trial. Justice Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Again. Anything else? I don't think so. Alright, let's get out of here. Do I need to do anything else? Box 15 is such an amazing song. Hmm. So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? I wanted to thank you for what you did. Uh, not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours. Very interesting indeed. Um... We should go to Hero's room. Oh, and let me give you this. This is the note Hero wrote to- No, this is the note Hero wrote to get us all, all to meet up, right? Hmm. I don't remember well. Well, the penmanship is pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things grow out and more exciting. Oh, what are you talking about? I've already, re I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you. I don't owe you any more. Ex I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. All right then. So he said to go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? <laughs> if it's another fucking dead body, I swear to God. I know it can't be, but <laughs> can you imagine that? Like Makoto just comes up going to a, a, a private room and just just being a body there, just. Hey Makoto, ready for another investigation? Fuck off! Alright. So, I need to- Oh, what am I doing? I can go directly there. Am I stupid? Yes, I am! Alright, hero's room then. Look for his room, look for his room. Look for his room. Leon. Yeah, there we go. Yes, you hear it. The door is unlocked? I guess I can go inside. Yaku did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. Whoa, dude. This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Wait. What is wrong with that camera? wrong with that camera? Where do you even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? What the fuck is wrong with this? A surveillance camera. There's no point in worrying about it right now. I need to just forget about it. That camera is freaking out, dude. Alright, let's see what we got. Well, we obviously got the boxes. I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something in Some things made out of... It looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster? Is this Robo-Justice? And it's in Hero's Room! But wait... These blueprints... Something about them bothers me. Hmm. 
Okay then. Something else? Anything else? Anything in the bathroom? I soundlessly checked the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy though. How does a bathroom even get this dirty? Well, if someone, you know, forgets to clean it. Alright, I guess we're done here then. Makoto! Big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news! Just a second! Robo Justice showed up too! Robo Justice? It's Hiro wearing the costume! Okay! Anyway, as soon, anyway, as, soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor! Do you think Hiro and Kyoko will turn up at the same time? Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. Wow, thanks for taking me there. Okay, what the fuck, though? Yoko! And. I mean. Phew, man, I've had the worst day. Hero. Alright, let's start with my hero. Um, hero? Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. <laughs> Yeah, duh. Who else? Who else would I be? Um, that's a good question. Huh? Well, why do I look like this? Well, did someone come along and come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it? Was it the Illuminati? Are you stupid? Right. He was jumped into the pool from locker. What? Oh, come the fuck on! Are you kidding me? He was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. <laughs> Wait a minute, you were searching for Hero this entire time. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. You were searching for Hero this entire time, Kyoko? How did you know? I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something. Are you sure? What? That's weird. <laughs> anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. Wow. There's something I have to check out. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't! Never mind! It's nothing. Never mind. Hey. Very important. She says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? And? Yes, of all. You will need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened, then I woke up, and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. There's something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Huh? Well, um... Let me out of here! I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> Why would you make something that you can take off for by yourself? You got it all wrong! I didn't make the stupid freaking thing! It would seem... There's a clasp on the back there that's keeping me from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think we can get it off in my room. We don't really have a choice. That's how we it took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Phew, free at last. Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then... More to the point, nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um... Uh, wait, what? Hold on a sec. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Is that okay? And it, in other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. <laughs> That's true, I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? And it's obvious. The one who put this costume on and when it's around attacking everyone. That's terrible! Was Hero! <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Whoa! Just the worst! Good idea! We wouldn't want ki him killing anyone else. What? what? Tie me up! Hold on, guys, I think that's going a little too far. That's right. Maybe a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, um... attacking blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. Please. What? Kill who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be getting the costume that's hacking? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit, he had started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Oh god. Uh, see, look. See how loose it is? Oh my god. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. 
I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. I agree, but something about it seems off. You know how Fina took the suit, up, the suit back off again. Oh. Well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um... No, see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... Makoto, go ahead. Okay. It's like it's resigned. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. Just a second! See? I told you it was impossible. <laughs> You are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But... Th there's another costume! They, have, they must have one that looks the same, but, but fits them! Honestly. We should insist on this kind of defense and show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there is another suit, yes? Then we must find it and show it to us. <laughs> what the heck? Just the worst! Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible! Which is not, which is how we know it was him! What? I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening! Could, like, could someone, like, tell me? Robo Justice costume has been added. Nice. Alright, let's tell you. What the heck? Uh, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out what that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Ifumi. What? what? Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it! Please. I did not! Huh? Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it. I know who did it. So then... Who may as well tell us then? Hmm. Taka and Ifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? I'm at least 30% right! What the f- <laughs> What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Which means Alter Ego and Orchihiro must have done it. You do realize that... Um... You do realize that Alter Ego is a computer program, right? Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please. Huh? Unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um... I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Oh, so oh, then. I know. That note. Note? Uh... Um... Well, last night someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found the hole that maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. <sighs> the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, then for some le reason I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No, well, hold on. I could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? What? Really? Uh, I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. Uh, Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Uh, well, after being trapped here so long, even you know if you, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? Oh, they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. Uh, I still don't buy it. Don't be mean. Well, you should buy it. Just a second. Okay, then show us that note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my, my, my um, pocket. No way. Oh, it looks like I lost it. Oh. Yeah, sure. Please. Please, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want to, us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim. But if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh -huh. What the heck? For serious. Yes, so here is a count. <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? There is no time to waste before the class trial Go, press the class trial begins. Why do we have to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, Hero! Uh -huh. No, it's like I said! Just the worst! Was it really to get the money when it come offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broken, that's why. Please. Wait, that's a false accusation! Someone help me! What are you saying? Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you. Hm. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? 
What? Uh, you're right, I need to look for the second suit in that node. Feet don't fail me now. I guess I'd better get back to guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko uh, Genocide Jack to switch with me. Hmm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Bye. -bye. One by one, everyone pulled away. Makoto. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I wanted to help you with the investigation. Okay, that's a rare sight. It would seem. It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make it to the right. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. To reject me so simply. Anyway. Anyway, I need your help. I don't mind, do you? Okay. Shall we go? No thanks. Thanks, now then, shall we? Hey. So, Makoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. My body's a lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than they live in. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. And then I guess I sh we should have that way. Alright, I need to hurry up, actually. The repository, so the R room. Let's go. Run, Forrest. This video this is taking a little longer than I thought it would, but whatever. I think I, I can still finish it if I do it quick enough. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go to go rigid. But only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without a hesitation began poking and prodding and prodding the bodies. I knew it. The Kuma file was right. They were killed using the similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me made me feel a little more comfortable. Okay, what do you have to tell me? I see. Makoto, I found something. You did? Hey. Do you remember the wrist watch Taka always wore on his left hand? He did? Ugh. Are you so vicious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? No, that's not it. If anything, Makoto likes everyone. A lot. Anyway, so you said he had a watch? So then. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his hand. And if you notice, his hand was frozen at just past 6 o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken six sometimes just after six? That's right. But last night, Tokyo's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost ten o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls! In other words... Since we worked at ten last night, it couldn't have been broken at six p.m. Meaning it must have happened at six this morning. However... And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right, there's something white in there. Makoto. Can you try and pry it out? Me? Because... Rigor Morris has already said it. Boys are better suited to this kind of bad of manual labor, right? Oh! Okay, so she means that the body has already gotten stiff, so the hand is pretty damn, damn hard to open. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some after effort, I finally was I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper? Hey. Is that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I don't know about that. Kyoko then turned to Ifumi's body. So then. Let's check Ifumi's body. Perhaps he's left us a few clues of a few clues of his own. Kyotaka's scrap of paper. Nice. Alright, what? So, did you find anything? Indeed. I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper! That's right. So we added him. Hidden? Indeed. He stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume it hidden got on purpose, but you see. In his pants? So wait, did- wait, so- Why is that? It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. Hey. Anyway, let's take anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Mikoto, open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like it better be important if we are. I'll never forgive you for this. 
Oh, there it is! There's the paper that Hero was looking for. A note? I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. So... That sounds very familiar. That's it! It's the same thing Hero said! Then he was telling us the truth! However... No, it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um... Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. It is, and here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. The time is different. Hiro told us that his note was set to meet at 1 a.m. The note they wrote to Ifumi, I... I... Sorry, but I heard something. The note they wrote to Ifumi asked him to meet at 6 a.m. Okay, I'm just gonna lower the again, really, in case I need to hear something. Is that right? Hold on, just because Ifumi had the note doesn't mean it was, it was made for him. Huh? So... What if he's been turned off, right? I think there's likely some meaning. There's some meaning to part of it being ripped? Yeah, Taka's screwed up a paper. Um, could you maybe explain it a little more? Too careful. Hey. Why would you have been touching that scrap of paper so tightly? I have no idea. So then. What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper that you were doing? What if it was something much more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's why you need to answer. Dude! Kyoko's literally doing what Makoto can't. She's adding 2 plus 2. That scrap of paper came from this note. Hey. While we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely have their hand looks on them. So the hand looks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the games in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think them about them, if you didn't have to think about them at all, I think you'd have gone out of way to mention it. All I said is that they weren't used to help carry out the mirrors. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. A handbook may play a role, I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. Again. Oh? Is it is it over? Is the investigation over? Did I do it? Did I, did I manage to do it? Are you excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! I did it! I can't believe I finished the investigation fast enough. Like the bright burst of fireworks. Like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. That's a weird analogy. And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first red floor, floor of the, the school. school. <laughs> See you soon. All right then. It would seem. It's unfortunate, but it's. I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we'd better get going. Okay. Here we go. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they were gathered by the red door. As soon as we were all there... Monokuma appears! <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them! Hello! 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 He's multiplied! Wrong! No! Nope! Nope! Not multiplication! It just looks that way because of an illusion! I'm moving so fast, it only looks like we've, I've multiplied! <laughs> Can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? <sighs> I'm just gonna go Boy! You're not playing right. along! Stop talking. I'm not here to play with you. Okay, okay, okay fine! And if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train <laughs> elevator. Basically the same thing. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. Okay then, shall we? <laughs> please! Oh, hold on. I'm not mentally prepared yet. What the heck? You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run any away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the heck? I told you already, I didn't do it for serious. Mm. That reminds me. Did you ever find the other costume, or the note? Uh, uh, well, no, but... <laughs> how unfortunate. It seems... Uh, it would seem we have our culprit. Hey. This isn't the place to talk about. Save your accusations for when we get to the court. 
That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to... I have to do it. I can't let her... I can't let whoever killed you for me and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive. And for the two that lost their lives. The one who killed Ifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is... Someone right here. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. Let's go! I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard... The doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up to onto a cruel fate. Oh, the redecoration! <laughs> <laughs> when I see you all, when I see all of you gathered together like this, I realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Just the worst. Because of you. Uh, why? Why are you making us do such cruel things to each other? Wawa? Wawa? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute. Come on. Stop this the yeah. Don't rush me. Of course I'm gonna start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for the action-packed class trial after this commercial break. Okay, I feel personally attacked about this, and I don't like it. D did I ever do anything wrong to you, Monokuma? I know I was gonna stop before the class trial, but I did I... Did I offend you? Did I hurt you? Yeah! I'd never hold out on you like that! I will, unfortunately. Okay, let's begin! Get to your assigned seats! And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly fate. Fate. A deadly class trial. Okay, I have to admit, this part of the chapter was actually pretty good. I did not expect that that twist. That was actually pretty damn good. That was that was incredible. <laughs> Especially the emotional moment with uh, Aoen and, and Ifumi. That caught me off guard, sincerely. Uh, anyways, I'm not expecting anything too complicated from this class trial. I mean, when the game says it's obvious, it's not obvious, so it's probably not hero. Uh, other than that, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, this is the weirdest case I've seen in Danganronpa, so far at least. Of course, I haven't played B3 yet, but it's it's sitting there on my Steam account just waiting. Yes, I finally got it. <laughs> uh... Anyway, that aside, this has been a weird, a weird ass case. I can't believe, I can't believe that costume exists, man. Why, why, why is it a thing? Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up since I'm running out of time. Anyways, <laughs> this is gonna be it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new to the channel. If you want to get notified of future uploads, hit that little notification bell. You know what to do. If you want to join my Discord, link is also in the description below. Guys, until next time. Peace!